What's going on everybody? Uh, been hearing a lot of the things about releases and uh, what's good for what and who's shooting what and all this and that and I uh, thought I'd make a little video about it. And I got a bunch of people, friends and guys at the archery range wanting to know uh, if I'm going to hunt with my forefinger. This is a uh, it's not a true back, it's not a hinge style release. Uh, it does have a trigger on it, I guess you could say. I do uh, shoot it with back tension. So draw it like this, come in, place my thumb over my index, squeeze, and as I squeeze back, it will it'll break away, so the motions. But uh, yeah, I am gonna hunt with this. I have, found to be a lot more consistent with this uh, I know it's not true I don't think it's possible it could be maybe it's just my mind I'm not sure but I feel like I can hold my bow a lot better or my my pins a lot I feel like I can aim better I don't know it's kind of hard to explain I'm not sure how it works I think it's in my mind uh, but I am a lot more consistent uh, than with my wrist rocket. Uh, I do have, do carry one in my backpack as a backup. I do take two releases when I go in the mountains, but this is my primary release. And yes, guys, I will be hunting with this uh, this season. Uh, I feel that getting it closer to your face, I don't. It, I think you're a lot more uh, in line with this being being this way than having this. Uh, it's very comfortable too. There's not, you know, you don't have your knuckles up in your face and stuff. I like it. It's really comfortable. It did, however, I will have to admit, it did take me like two weeks, three weeks to get comfortable. I was very frustrated at first because uh, I had a little bit of panic. I wanted to know when this thing was going to go off, uh, and yeah, it's real hard, you know, with the with the uh, the old trusty. You can just put it up there and punch that trigger and zoom down range we go with this uh, you can punch it but it's you're definitely gonna be uh, inaccurate if you punch it so I have found that I am a lot more consistent with this um, and yes there are those days with the uh, the roll wrist rocket that you can get out there and you can just laser beam them down there uh, and be dead on, but I, I much rather be consistent uh, and, and build my mass muscle movement rather than my fine muscle movement, which is this here. Using this, you start developing bad habits. Using this, it's uh, it's, I, it's it's a better option, folks. Um, I do I do recommend people go out and try one. At least go to your your local pro shop and pick a four finger or three finger they make two fingers knock on they got uh, I believe it's a silver back but I believe that is a hinge style release um, I'm not quite to that stage yet I'll be honest um, and disclaimer for everybody if you go and you try a hinge style release be careful be real careful because if you don't you probably punch yourself in the mouth it has happened uh, I haven't punched myself in the face, but I've come really close. So keep that in mind. Um, I, I like this style. This seems to fit. It's really comfortable. Um, I have the, I, it's grown on me. So I like it. And yes, this is modified here. Uh, it has a little hole right there. A lot of people say, well, what if I just sit this down in the woods and whatever. I just made just some 550 cord and, and a little... Uh, tensioner I guess you could say and just put some uh, some wrap on it that comes with my boning wraps I put it on there visibility whatever but uh, yeah so that's the thing I am shooting a four finger um, I do carry a, pot, a wrist rocket for for backup purposes only uh, I encourage everybody to go out and just at least try one um, see what you think you, you may hate it the first three days, you may hate it the first week, you may hate it for two weeks, but uh, I think eventually it'll grow on you and uh, 
you probably start shooting a little bit more consistent than uh, with the old trusty dusty. That's it for today.